Greetings Commanders, I'm Commander Avasa, and welcome to the AXI Debrief, where you can get the current news and information within the AXI. This week, the PS4 AXI Squadron got third, the Art of War chugs along, and Operation Ida has completed their mission. If you enjoy any of this content, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, and if you wish to be notified of any future debrief videos, consider hitting the subscribe button along with that bell icon. The seasonal tick of the leaderboards hit this week and our PC squadron pulled off first while our PS4 squadron pulled off third. For the PC squadron the pull in first place has been quite standard on our platform but the most notable is definitely our PS4 squadron making the top three. They are well understaffed compared to the PC community and for them to put in the incredible effort to compete on PS4 and making AXI an authority on that platform is just incredible. I did get informed that Commander Zackel was instrumental in their success, and so please thank Commander Zackel for coordinating and motivating everyone on their platform, and of course well done to all the commanders involved. The Art of War continues to run towards completion at an incredible rate now hitting the 6400 mark of Thargoid Hearts. The hearts are the last thing we need to have this public event come to its conclusion, with the reward of an in-game decal for you to paint onto the hulls of your ship. We are well underway to finishing this goal well before its deadline. And this event has brought in a lot of new commanders into our community, with many of them taking on Thargoids for the first time. Our Discord has also now hit its 6800 member mark, which is the highest member count we've ever seen. Right now with the game in a state of limbo, with no new content or even a continuation of reoccurring events, our community still continues to grow and has brought with it the ability for our commanders to pass on the knowledge they know to the newest generation of AX pilots, especially those joining us for this community goal. Of course, welcome to all the new commanders joining us for the first time and helping keep our veteran commanders and mentors skills sharp. Operation Ida has completed their mission in repairing all of the damaged stations in a leap from Thargoid attacks. They formed over two and a half years ago and took on the daunting task of onlining the stations, which just swelled over the years when the Thargoids kept encroaching into human-occupied space. The day before the completion announcement, they also put up a prize pool for their Hall to End It All event, and they have listed the winners to the prizes. They also put up an Operation Ida t-shirt for purchase, so for anyone out there that would like some nice swag, head over to the Operation Ida for their information. Link to their store page has also been provided below. And the BGS War Against Hacks still exists, unfortunately. And many of us are just really not interested in continuing this war, so can come on Hacks, let's, let's put this to an end. A lot of us would appreciate it. Opening the Commander Achievements section is Commanders Logan Harrison and Halcyon for performing a double Cyclops kill. Commanders Tyron Woodley and Pixiryu, Pixt, Pixiryu, oh, you told me, and I, you know that guy, achieved their first Hydra kills this week, so congratulations to these two commanders joining the elite rank of commanders who have taken on this challenging threat. Yeah, no, I, I'm never going to get that name right. And Commander Katie Byrne this week achieved a Medusa kill while maintaining 100% of her hull. Well done, Commander. And for this week's kill of the week, it goes to Commander Blue Skies with a soaring Slepner kill. This kill requires you to take out a Medusa without your HUD, which makes aiming, synthing, or even just getting a basic understanding around you with what your HUD provides, has its difficulty multiplied by a factor of a lot of nope. So congratulations to Commander Blue Skies for this achievement. Rather light week we've had, and also the fact that the game is in limbo is making covering things a little bit more difficult. If it wasn't for Operation Ida or the Art of War, I'd be scraping the bottom of the barrel for content right now. With that, I'd also like to announce that unfortunately next week I will not be able to provide the debrief. Work Tempo has picked up immensely and I have a few things my family and I are doing together. And so I really do apologize for this guys, it's just I got a lot of things going on right now. It's just been absolutely just mayhem at work and I barely have enough time for my family at the moment. So I just need to cut out a few things, uh, cut back on a few things also to get time with my family. So I really do apologize for this but I do look forward to seeing all of you in the week after. Of course, thank you all for joining me this week, and as always, Commanders, aim for the heart. Carry on.